Hi, and welcome to Top Solid 7. In this next video, what we're going to focus on is roughing the material out between the blades of our blower wheel. In the last video, we used turning to rough as much as we could and finish as much as we could with the turning tool. To begin with, what I'm going to do is go to our 4 and 5 axis tab, and I'm going to choose 4 axis radial roughing. However, I'm also going to use this as an opportunity to show you a fantastic function of Top Solid, which is favorites. Favorites is a way for you to store your favorite ways to apply a specific toolpath. What's even cooler is you can also store the tool, the feeds and speeds, and everything within the favorite. Here's how it works. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to choose roughing. And in here you see I have two different tool paths. One is called rough with a quarter inch, three quarter flute, 31 thou bullnose. The other is semi-finish. We're going to use both of these to rough out and semi-finish everything on that part. How do you use it? You just select it. As soon as I select it, all of the settings, tooling, everything was just applied. Now all I need to do, click go. I mean, think about how simple that was. When you find a good way to manufacture something and you find a good set of settings to cut that part the right way, why not store that knowledge in the software and then reuse it? And here you can see right off the bat, now we're roughing the part. And we're doing it in 4-axis continuous in a nice, simple to understand toolpath. In fact, what this is, think of it as like a Z-level finish but in 4-axis continuous. So we're getting in, we're getting the cut done, and we're getting out. Now, let's go ahead and do that one more time, this time from the right-click menu, just for fun. And this time, let's use our semi-finish instead. So I'll go into here to semi-finish. That loaded all of that. We can go through and look at all the settings, for example. If I go into my settings here, this has 10,000 stock to leave now instead. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And now... Top Solid again is applying those favorite settings directly to that part. And in a few short seconds here, you're going to see the result of the semi finish as well. And like that, we're done. And in this case, I even had the update stock active so that we could have a final stock model that is ready for finishing. In the next video, we're going to take a look at some of the five axis options to finish machining this blower wheel.